Zip is my, he's, he's my hero. Why? He's the greatest. He gets beat up, he bounces back, he's like a tape op. <laughs> but you know what I really like about Zip? I just hope at the end that Neil and Mark let Zip beat Dottie up. <laughs> beyond belief. It's actually beyond the horizon. It's actually self-contained in a zone similar to the Twilight Zone, but it occurs in Florida, and uh, the Twilight Zone was filmed in Buffalo, I think. So, thinking about it, it's uh, an experience that everybody should have, no matter how hard they try not to. You know, I see people wienerize day in and day out, and they all come out with a smile on their face. Well, it's, it's kind of a, a, a symbolic Kafka-esque kind of transformation of the human body and soul where it kind of gets squeezed down. It's sort of symbolic of the fact that we're all under the control of somebody else. We are all, in fact, puppets. I mean, let's face it, it just feels like you've been ridden hard and put away wet. Oh, it means being... Listen to the puppet. Ozone eyes. Okay. Well, my husband and I had a conversation about it last night, and part of it had something to do with shrinking. Right. To me? Well, back in 1951, okay, I was wienerized by a Puerto Rican moil in Brooklyn! Yeah, right. Okay, and I got the scars to prove it. Stay by your a roll. Stay by DTA. Look, it's, see these nice red eyes? <laughs> That's what wienerized means to me. <laughs> We've all been wienerized. We have been wienerized. I was, felt very small, very small, all parts of my body, all parts of my body, were very, very small. What is it like to be wienerized? Um, it's a lot like being a fireman. Um, you see, uh, Neil starts a fire and I put it out. Neil starts a fire and I put it out. Then there's a fire and we put it out. So it's kind of like being from No, no, wait a minute. It's like being an emergency medical technician. They screw it up, we patch it up. They screw it up, we patch it up. Something like Or our construction worker. Construction worker. It's construction worker. <laughs> Wienerization is a way of life. It's kind of a, a zen height that you achieve at some point. It's not something that everybody can attest to. Uh, I think being wienerized means not when you like go to the 7-Eleven and get a 89 cent hot dog and all they give you is a little bean and a sausage. I don't know. It's a very special experience for me. Yeah? It's um, too difficult to describe. <laughs> Small. Very, very small. What does being wiener race mean to you? Well, let's just say it hasn't happened for a few weeks. <laughs> hmm. It means being fried. 
crispy fry. <laughs> Being wienerized means to me, yeah. well, it means coming from a nice, quiet place like Malibu, having a nice, peaceful life, and be thrown into this hellhole. Basically, I feel wienerized to the nth degree, if you know what I mean. I gotta go. <laughs> You really want to ask me that question? You must answer. It's sort of like, let's get small, kind of. In a different way, though. In a nice, clean, healthy, kind of Nickelodeon way. Being wienerized is a question you would better ask my wife, the wienerette. She's the one who gets wienerized, not me. How to build a set out of cardboard. <laughs> it means expanding your consciousness, being free, getting out of your body, being all that you can be. It, uh, it means I'm pregnant. <laughs> Steph must have got wiener, wienerized here. He, this is all that's left to Steph. He's, He's wienerized. He's down to pittance. <laughs> wienerized is when you're, when you're looking at a hot dog. That's called wiener eyes. <laughs> right? I'll do anything if you just pull my string. I'm your puppet, 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 puppet. In a hard day and night, and I've been working like a dog. It's been a hard day and night. I should be sleeping like a love. But when I get home to you, I find the things that you do will make me feel. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it means. It means ten percent to him. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. Fifteen. Yeah. We don't have He's a talk in the March. The other going five going is. I know for, several. Uh, the other five is human kindness. <laughs> Hi. It's been a pleasure being in Florida and losing the rest of my business. <laughs> <laughs> Wiener eyes meaning to me yes. is it's the next to the last segment and then we're out of there. What does being wienerized mean to you? I don't know. It's life in hell. <laughs> no, only kidding. Uh, smaller is bigger. <laughs> being married to Mark Wiener. Wienerized? Probably something I can't say on camera. Oh. Do you realize that any one of Boney's turds would be worth millions? No. This, <laughs> this is what this is what happens when you're wienerized. <laughs> this being the kids' network, I probably shouldn't answer that at this particular moment. Okay. Oh, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of my ex-husband and this song I used to sing. I think it was done by Peggy Lee. Is that all there is? <laughs> it's it's a high priority secret. I can't reveal that. Being wienerized means to me never coming up from the black hole. <laughs> I don't know what it means to me to be wienerized, but I had to use a whole lot of this stuff. I have no idea in the world. All I see is on the t-shirts people with their heads cut off. Mr. Wiener, wait. Mr. Wiener, waiting. No can't wait. Must call. Bye bye. Bye bye. One special thing. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Wiener. I was wondering, what does being wienerized mean to you? Career. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. and gentlemen. Elvis has left the building. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Nice job, Brian. You're fired. You're all fired! I don't need any of you! I'm bony, I'm bony, leave me alone!